So yeah, thank you. We've got another interview, I think. We have. We have. Yeah. yeah. I think next up we are hearing from Cassie, who played Jessica, the main character in Cherry Blossoms in March. I think it's going to be really interesting to hear from her about kind of the process of making the film and also playing a real life person. Yeah, it must have been an incredible journey to learn about a real life person and then portray them on screen. Must have been very emotional. So we're going to get into that interview right now. So here we are, the interview with Cassie Collis. My name is Cassie Collis, and I play Jessica in the film Cherry Blossoms in March. When I first heard about the project, I was initially very excited because it was called Cherry Blossoms in March, and I really like cherry blossoms, so I was excited about that. But then, of course, when I learned more about the project and that it was based on Riley's true life experience, it just became so much more special and exciting and something that I was really excited to be a part of. When I was preparing for the role, I was so, so fortunate because Riley, our director, was very generous and she gave me access to Jessica's real personal notes and her like video of her performing the poem that she wrote, the one that actually plays as a voiceover during the film. And then just having the chance to talk directly with Riley, have rehearsals and get to know who Jessica was, because it was really important to me to get that right and to tell Jessica's story and do it justice and honor the beautiful person that she was. There were definitely a lot of heavy and emotional scenes in this film, but I had incredible castmates, Maddie who played my mom and then Riley her directing and her support, it just all felt like a really safe environment and we were all in it together and trying to make it moving. I can't really pick just one of the best moments from this experience because it truly was so cool all around, uh, but something that does stand out to me is how it felt being on set. I think we shot this about six years ago now, which is well to think about, but at the time it was one of my first short film projects that I'd been a part of and I think probably one of the bigger sets that I'd been on. And I just remember being so impressed by every single person there and their skill and dedication to their particular area of expertise. And I think that's just one of the things that I love about film is just how every single person involved is such a pivotal element of the whole. You could not make a film without every single person there. And I remember that um, dedication and passion we all shared felt really palpable and it was really energizing. There were a lot of cool things I got to do when we were making this film. I feel like especially because it was relatively early in my career too, it, it was such a learning experience for me. I got exposed to things like special effects makeup. Um, there were like a little bit of stunts and the camera work. I remember for one scene, they were trying to figure out how to do like a, a three, I think it was 360 for the camera to spin while a hospital bed was being pushed. Um, so I remember just like sitting there and watching them figure out how that was gonna happen. and. That was really cool. Um, and then also just filming at different locations. I don't think we ever had a day where we filmed the same location. Every day was different. Uh, we filmed like outdoors in people's houses. There was a day we were in a studio, which was super fun. Um, and in also filming at Jessica's real house and in her real bedroom, that was really, really special. Um, yeah, so I got to learn so, so much in that one short film and it's something that I'm so grateful for because it definitely, definitely wouldn't have happened without Riley bringing me on board. Overall, having been part of Cherry Blossoms in March is such a special experience that I will definitely never forget. I feel so grateful to Riley for bringing me on board and for the chance to have worked with such an incredible cast and crew. I learned so much from 
every single one of them and I feel really lucky that I got the chance to work with everyone. I'm especially proud that we've partnered with charities to also raise awareness for cystic fibrosis while telling Jessica's story. I'm excited that the film is now kind of making its way out into the world and I hope you enjoy watching it.